What's up beautiful people in this video i want to show you all of copenhagen's really rad diy skate spots there's so many cool skate spots the scene here really embraces diy in general the city does i'm gonna get into that later but we're starting here at hold it diy really rad diy spot located right in the middle of the city it looks like we're in a forest but like 100 feet from here you're right in the middle of the city that's what's really cool so yeah, I'm gonna give you a little tour of this spot. It's one of my favorite DIY skate parks here in Copenhagen. And then we're gonna check out some more. I'm gonna give you sort of a little tour of Copenhagen's DIY in this video, starting here. This spot is really rad. And when I first came here ever, it was actually just the bowl back there. And that was about like eight years ago. Now they've extended it back around here. And it's really cool. Like it's just located in this like rural area almost, but we are still in the middle of the city. A lot of new tags. And the cool part about the DIY here is like, they really have to think about it. Like they put a drain over there because it was raining like 20 minutes ago, and it's almost dried up. So it's like, they're not just building skate infrastructure, they're actually thinking about their weather as well. But let's get a couple warm up clips and I'll give you a tour of this amazing DIY. <laughs> burn myself out here at Hullet. Love this place, but I am working on a video part, so I want to save some energy, save some of my uh, efforts here at this spot. Check out some more DIY spots. So uh, keep it moving. I really love this place. I want to keep skating here, but I also, yeah, I got to conserve some of that energy. We're here for like another week. So let's check out the next spot. All right, a six minute bike ride away and now we are under the bridge, super rad spot. I've actually never been to this one. It's pretty crazy how fast they did this. I'm gonna give you a quick little tour as I first time see it. You got this long flat wall, kind of bowls around. I think this is like the main area. And if you watch Copenhagen open, any footage like that, you've probably seen people uh, getting pretty close to bashing that top bridge. Actually, I think someone did bash, it might've been Chris. I'm not sure, let me know down below. I think someone bashed that bridge behind me off the transition. Pretty crazy. You got this cool little bank hips right here that you can launch up onto the top, or you can just skate this little hip. Kind of reminds me of FDR a little bit, really fun place. But yeah, this bridge spot is really rad. I kind of like how they just built transition on both sides. And then there's basically just like one hump in the middle, and then they got hips and some different obstacles with the transition. This is really rad how it like goes up into a doorway. You see the cinder block, so they just built transition and then added coping on the top there, but everything else is already existing over there. So that's really cool. This spot is just sick overall. Like, What a good idea to build down here. Whoever started this is really smart. Concrete is really smooth. I think that's probably because like, it's not getting as weathered. You can almost start from here too. It's crazy. You can roll down this whole bank and transition it out down at the bottom and you can skate this whole place. It's really rad. I need some water. I'm like super exhausted, dehydrated a little bit right now. I haven't had any water today and just coffee. So I'm gonna get a couple rips around here. Just wanna give you a tour. We'll check out some more DIY.
super fun first session at the spot. This actually might be my new favorite DIY in Copenhagen or in the world. It's so fun. It's like a giant bowl with just like DIY stuff everywhere. It's just like the things that I love to skate. This is like right up my alley. So super stoked. I'm just exhausted right now. I need super dehydrated. Stoked to have a little back smith hype on that, but yeah, I need to get some water and then we'll check out the next DIY spot here in Copenhagen. I'm having a blast just traveling today. And uh, it's just so cool how close everything is. You just get a bike here. I made a video all about why Copenhagen is the best city for skateboarding in my opinion. And uh, that's one of the coolest things. Everything is a really tight course, pretty small city. You get around everywhere really fast on a bike. So you don't have to worry about those car legs or anything like that. It's really nice. You're kind of like keeping your um, body moving so you're not getting that frozen leg syndrome like you do in California. So on to the next spot. One of the oldest DIY skate spots in Copenhagen is Christiania, is the bowl, the Wonderland Bowl by Alice. All the people, it was actually built outdoors and then they put it indoors. Been here for a really long time. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Just got done skating actually. And recently they installed like a, some more concrete stuff outside. They have like a loop and all sorts of stuff. Really fun spot, definitely check it out if you're in Copenhagen. Man, I'm having a blast here. And what's cool about this bowl is like, everywhere in it is skatable. So like the walls are skatable. They got a core pipe back here. They got a ledge over there. Like every piece of this inside area in Christian, sorry, not in Christian, in Wonderland Bowl is skatable, which is really rad. Had a fun session inside. Let's uh, check it out outside as well. I think it's really cool about a lot of the DIY spots in Copenhagen is that like they always incorporate art. Like it's a whole wall over there with skateboards on it. Inside there's a whole wall of skateboards. Like it's always more than the actual infrastructure. They do a good job of that. I need to get I need to get better at that. I'm actually pretty inspired to do some more of that at the spots back home. What do you think of this DIY spot, babe? Is it, does it get her approval? It gets your approval. Did you show me your approval? Oh yeah, I got a piercing. <laughs> you got my ears pierced earlier today. It gets my approval. It's very cool. It's cool to look at. It's I fun was, to hang out at. I, I was asking about the DIY spot though. I know. Oh, were you referring to both? Yeah, no. Oh. <laughs> I was saying the DIY spot's really cool. Oh, I thought you were saying my piercing's really cool. Your piercing's also really what cool. What about the DIY spot do you like? It's really cool. I like the art. It's fun to look at. You can smoke weed here. You can chill. Big, um, big burks. Lots of good people watching. Yeah. And the art's just really cool. Like the worm. I love the worm. Yeah, it's a good hangout spot. So definitely come check it out. I just love the loop too. Like, what other DIY spot in the world has a DIY loop? I think there's very few, maybe like three. Let me know if I'm wrong. 